Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, just a little brief video covering a little bit of news out of the Ubuntu world. So, in April, we'll see the next release of Ubuntu, and it will be 2104, for those of you who don't know what the uh, naming mechanism is for versioning, or versioning mechanism is for Ubuntu. It's always the year and then the month that we get updates in April and October, and obviously April is the next one. So, for the vast majority of Ubuntu releases, we always, at least obviously since Ubuntu has switched back to using GNOME as their main desktop environment, we've seen Ubuntu use the most recent major release of GNOME in their re releases, you know, whether that's 3.38 it's or, you know, or whatever. This next time, because of some changes that GNOME has just recently decided that they were going to make, uh, it's been announced that Ubuntu will not be using the most recent version of GNOME, which would be GNOME 40. They'll actually be sticking with 3.38, I believe, is the, the version of GNOME that they'll be sticking to. And the reasoning behind this, if we, look, if we look at the article on OMG Ubuntu, the reasoning behind this is the redesign of the GNOME Shell 40 and its potential to impact on GNOME extensions, which Ubuntu uses a whole bunch of, uh, and the new Yaru GTK theme. Uh, is is the other reason that they're saying why they're not going to Ubuntu f or you know 40. So my argument is this: it's a good thing. So when I made my video f looking forward to Ubuntu 21.04, I said that at, at that point we pre was pretty sure that they were going to use GNOME 40, and I said it was going to be very interesting to see how they were going to implement these changes. So if you look at this little graphic here they have on Ubuntu or on OMG Ubuntu, this shows you the changes that they're going to make. The, the, the dock is moving to the bottom, the way the, the multitasking thing is and workspace uh, switcher is going to be is completely different than it is right now. It's a very big UI shift from what it was before. And like I said in that video, it was going to be interesting to see how the Ubuntu was going to in implement this because the, their UI has always been a little bit different than GNOME, stock GNOMEs. Uh, we, the panel's always been, you know, vertical on the left-hand side uh, to kind of mimic what it has always looked like since they use Unity. So it's not surprising to me at all that they've decided not to go through and implement GNOME 40 because it completely changes the way GNOME looks and they have to decide whether or not they want to implement this new look or try to make it so that it stays the traditional Ubuntu way. So, and I also think it, because this change came so late in the development cycle for Ubuntu, I think that it's a very good idea for them just to hold off and wait and decide which way they want to go. Personally, I would love to see them implement the new GNOME, you know, look, because I think like it looks really good. Whether or not they will, I don't know. I I'm leaning towards them probably staying with their traditional, you know, panel along the side thing. But it wouldn't surprise me to see them implement some of it and then not implement other things. So they'll probably leave the panel along the side, but maybe they implement the workspace switcher thing. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. I, I do think it's going to make, give the, or it's going to cause the Ubuntu developers a lot more work because of this change. Whereas before, the GNOME UI and the Ubuntu UI were fairly similar. All they had to do is change the dash to dock thing and make it, you know, so it was always visible. This seems like it's a much bigger change between stock GNOME and what Ubuntu is likely to do. So the other thing we won't see in uh, Ubuntu 21.04 is GTK4. This is, I mean, anybody who thought that they were actually going to see GTK4 in the next Ubuntu release is kind of naive, because it's literally, it was just released in like, what, early Jan January, maybe December? Uh, it was just released, no theme supported yet, hardly any. I think Yaru just got support for GTK4 like two days ago, and, and it's going to be very flaky for a, quite a while. There's going to be a whole bunch of apps that aren't going to support it for a long, long time. It took years for GTK3 to be adopted. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a good support for GTK4 and Ubuntu until after the LTS. Uh, and we might see initial stuff for it in October, but I doubt it. It's it, I would really... S 
I would suspect that we're more likely to see full-fledged GTK 4 support in Ubuntu more likely in 22.10 than we would in 21.10. That's just a feeling. So, th those are the two big things that they were announcing. Another thing that uh, I, I, I just kind of want to touch on is this here. Ubuntu 21.04 will ship with Wayland by default. Now, if you don't know what Wayland is, Wayland is a alternative to x.org, which is a which is the display server that Linux has used for the last 20 plus years. Uh, Wayland is more modern. It's it's more efficient. It's uh, been worked on for about 10 years. <laughs> it's it's been around. I mean, we've been had the prom we've had the promise of Wayland for a long time, and, and really, what's been holding a lot of things back is the NVIDIA support for Wayland. And apparently, NVIDIA is much more interested in Wayland now, to the point, and, and Ubuntu feels more confident that Wayland is going to be actually something that everybody can use, so it's being shipped by default in 21.04. And this is huge news because Ubuntu is the biggest distro out there. And now, they're not the first to ship Wayland by default. Fedora's been doing it for a long time. Uh, I think Debian has actually been shipping Wayland by default for the last release. I may be wrong about that one. Either way, the, the fact that Ubuntu is going to be doing it this time is a big boost to Wayland, and it might kick the pants of NVIDIA into making that support a little bit better. And we've also, I mean, and we've also seen this recently a lot more support for Wayland from the Steam and Proton developers. So gaming has actually become more possible on Wayland instead of using some kind of bridge between uh, Wayland and using something called like X Wayland or something in order to get those things to work. So that is big news um, and probably actually is bigger than GNOME 40 not being there. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe. You can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and all those things. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching.